Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of complete hydrated deep form mole, also called molar pregnancy. Hydrated deep form mole is a common complication of pregnancy. It consists of a non viable embryo which implants and proliferates within the uterus. You can see the uterus and whole length of the uterine cavity is filled with this additive for D mole. A, on ultrasound, it looks like a bunch of vesicles with intersuppressed fluid seen in whole of the uterine cavity. Most pain, mostly painless vaginal bleeding during the second trimester of pregnancy is seen. They are diagnosed by ultrasound imaging. Extremely high levels of human chorionic gonadotropins, that is HCG, are suggestive but not diagnostic of molar pregnancy. A molar pregnancy is when there is a problem with a fertilized egg, which means a baby and the placenta do not develop the way they should be. They should after conception. A molar pregnancy will not be able to survive. It happens by chance and is very rare. Now you can see the whole length of the uterine cavity is filled with molar pregnancy. A hydrated deep form mole is a pregnancy in which the placenta contains grape-like vesicles as you can see small sacs which are visible to the naked eye. The vesicles arise by the distension of the chorionic villi by fluid. When examined under the microscope, hyperplasia of the topoblastic tissue is noted. Hydrated deformed mole is a tumor that forms in the uterus as a mass of cystic cysts resembling a bunch of grapes. Hydrated deformed moles appear during the childbearing years and they do not spread outside the uterus. A malignancy called choriocarcinoma may arise may from a hydrated deep form mole. A pelvic ultrasound scan will show the presence of tissue inside the uterus with the characteristic snowstorm appearance of the molar pregnancy. As you can see in this case, the scan may be performed via the abdomen, abdominal scan or vagina. Ultrasound scanning shows a honeycomb pattern produced by the numerous vesicles as you are going to see in this case. As they enlarge, the image is described to look like a snowstorm which is due to the swollen cysts with bleeding into the uterus. The ovaries are often seen to be contain large cysts. So mostly the identity deep form mole is an abnormal fertilized egg that develops into the identity deep form mole rather than a fetus, a condition called molar pregnancy. Identity deep form moles are most common among women under the age of 17 or over under the age range from 17 to 35 years age. In the United States, they occur about 1 in 2,000 pregnancy. So th there are many risk factors involved with this molar pregnancy. You can find it in the description of this video. Thank